So the basic concept behind this is as follows. We have three groups, a far right group, a middle group, and a far left group. And I'm going to say approximately one six, two thirds, and one six. And if this represents 100% of some population, in that population, the far right are made up of champions, or sometimes we call them change agents. That's uh, consulting jargon. These are individuals who are excited about putting new things in place. They will champion your idea. Sometimes you're the one getting in their way, and you're the one that is holding back them trying innovative things. But you've got a minority of people who play this role. You also have a middle group, and this group will go with you around the change effort, but they need to know three things. One, they need to know, why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing this? Secondly, what are the benefits? What do I get out of this? And third, how can I be involved? If you give the majority of people the answer to these three questions, they will go with you. You then have a third group on the far left. And the name for this group, this is the group that will never change, ever. Now I have to tell you, I've been sharing this idea for a number of years now, and in one particular session, someone did the math in their head and raised their hand and said, there's no way I have one six of my people that I'm trying to influence that fall in this never change category. That just seems like too many people. So I thought about it and I said, all right, that's fair. Let's cut it in half. And then it hit me. I think we confuse people with difficult styles from people who are genuinely resistant to your change. Now, style is interesting. So imagine someone knocking on your door and the moment you see who they are, you do this inner eye roll thing, right? Like not again, you're hoping that they don't notice it. And we often keep people with tough styles away from us. These people can ask really tough questions. And we keep them away from us because we think that if we involve them, they'll slow down what we're trying to do. And there's a real dilemma here because if you involve them, if you use their participation to ask tough questions, not only will they make the project stronger, but you'll get buy-in and support, and it will increase the likelihood that more people will participate and will want to go with the change. But what do you do with this far, far left group? Well, you have to do three things. One, you need to show respect. Now, how do you show respect? You show respect by listening empathetically. And this means you need to put yourself in front of them and be willing to hear where they are without trying to change or fix them. They're pissed. They don't like it you're making their lives more difficult. The truth is for this far, far left group, this one twelfth, they're not interested in your change. At best, their contribution is to show how frustrated they are that the change is even being considered and that's it. So you need to show respect by listening and then you need to do the toughest thing. You need to ignore them, yes? I said, ignore them. Now let's be clear about something and what I mean by ignore. This does not mean you don't answer their emails or don't talk with them. I mean, when they show up around you, you say to yourself, I'm going to stop put my, putting my energy in trying to convince them that what we're trying to do is right. See, I think what we do with this far, far left group is somehow we think if we can get them to get on board with the project, that is what is needed to make this project successful. And I'm telling you what's most important to focus on and to remind yourself is that you're never going to get everyone to go with you in a change effort. Never. The best you can do is position your champions to tell your story, have them influence this middle group to pull in this direction. 
The style people, who are tough but ask good questions, will improve the quality of the project as they see their contributions being considered. And this far left group, they have a choice. They will decide if they will opt in or continue to opt out. And there is nothing you can do about it. You see, when I ask folks the question, who do we spend the most time dealing with? It's often this left group that we're dealing with. And what I'm saying is, do a better job of distinguishing between people who have a style that's difficult to deal with from those who are genuinely resistant to your idea or direction and have no interest in going with you so that you have more energy and time for this middle group that needs you to help them with the change. This is the inadvertent consequence of spending time with this far, far left group is that we don't spend nearly enough time with the middle and far right group who are ready to go with you. So that is the concept of one six, two thirds, and one six. 